Luoshan is located in the northern part of the Pearl River, 20 kilometers from Guangzhou, Guangdong province. It is a vital part of an economic zone comprised of Guangzhou in the east and Hong Kong and Macau in the south. With a long history dating back approximately 5,000 years, the city has gained its name from the three Buddha statues unearthed in this area during the Tang Dynasty. Having a temperate climate with abundant rainfall, it has been a land of fish and rice. Besides fishing and farming, the local craftsmen were also known for their skills in the making of ceramics. A thriving handicraft industry, commerce and arts made Huoxian one of the four most famous towns in Tang and Song dynasty. Its reputation as the home of Chinese ceramic arts, Cantonese operas and martial arts. Huoxiang is a modern city. It is one of the earliest ports engaged in foreign trade since China's open door policy. It also has become the third largest city in Guangdong province, combining its manufacturing industries along with tourism. The ancient Nanfen Kiln, where the pottery art of Fu Xiang originated, is located in Shiwan Town, Chan Chen district of Fu Xiang City. Being the oldest kiln in China, the history of the kiln can be traced back to the Ming Dynasty. It is amazing that this ancient kiln still operates. Visitors can enjoy ever fascinating experience to make their own pottery in this fascinating national treasure. According to historic documents, the city became a ceramics base during the Tang and Song dynasty. In the Ming and the Qing dynasties, the ceramics were highly developed and the pottery of Shuan Tang won a national fame. The dragon kiln plays a dominant role among the kilns of Shiwan town, such as the kiln is always built against the hill and winds its way along the slope, resembling a gigantic dragon. Now the Nanfen kiln is the most ancient one of the three existing dragon kilns. Although production has never stopped, the antique kiln is well preserved. It is indeed rarely seen in China or the rest of the world and the kiln is considered as live cultural relic. The mouth of the ancient Nangfen kiln faces south and the giant Banyan tree makes a pleasant shade at the end of the kiln. In the summer, it's always a good breeze, therefore the kiln gets its name, Nangfen, which means south wind. It is really a wonder that over 400 year old Banyan tree still survives in such high temperatures and infertile land.